Hi, I'm Anna and each week I'll be bringing you fresh ideas to help create quick and easy meals for the family that are great value. So what's for dinner? Tonight it's Osso Buco. To make osso buco, we use veal shin. Now we cook it long and slow until the meat falls off the bone. As well as the veal shin, you'll also need thyme, parsley, onion, garlic, select salt reduced chicken stock and diced tomatoes. Click here for the full recipe and add all your ingredients to your trolley when you shop online. For really beautiful osso buco, it's really important to brown your meat. Now the best way to do that is to add a little bit of flour over the veal shins. This will seal all those beautiful flavours in and will also slightly thicken the sauce. Okay, my pan is nice and hot. I'm just going to add a little bit of olive oil and then we'll add the veal. I love a one pot wonder, they're just so easy. But to make it even easier, you can buy all your ingredients online and get it home delivered. And that's nicely browned, so that will give the dish a wonderful depth of flavour. So once brown, set aside on a dish and then we're keeping all those wonderful flavours in the pot. We're going to sort out some vegetables. I'm going to add a generous knob of butter to the pan. And now add the onion, carrot and celery. Now we're just going to cook this for about two to three minutes until it's nice and soft. To the sautéed vegetables, I'm just going to add two big fat cloves of garlic. Pop them in whole. For some herbs, this recipe loves thyme. I'm just going to grab a few sprigs and just stick them in whole. And now for some zing, just a little peel of lemon. That flavour will go a long way. I'm just going to add one and a half cups of white wine. Now this is going to rip all the flavours up off the bottom of the pan. And that's already boiling, so we're going to add the meat back into the pot. Everything goes back. Add one and a half cups of chicken stock. And to finish it off, a can of diced Australian tomatoes. Give it a little stir. Now, once this is boiling, we just reduce the heat down to low and then we partially cover it with a lid. We just want to allow some of that juice to evaporate so the sauce becomes thick and rich. And we cook for a lovely slow two, two and a half hours until the meat is literally falling off the bone. Now, the Osso Buco smells ready. But what we have to do is actually test it and see if the meat is falling off the bone. <gasps> oh. Look at that. That has just fallen off the bone. It's absolutely amazing. To take this dish to the next level, I'm going to show you how to whip up a really delicious square malata. Now, you'll need one tablespoon of finely grated lemon rind, a clove of finely chopped garlic, and a quarter of a cup of finely chopped continental parsley. And lastly, this needs just a bit of salt. Give it a stir. This gremolata is going to give it a vibrant, fresh lift. But we've got one last little piece of indulgence to go into that pot, and it's some butter. We're just going to let that melt in. We're going to give it a little stir, and it will just give it a slightly creamier finish. Let's plate up. This is absolutely amazing. The meat is really falling off the bone, as you can see. It smells incredible. The sauce is really rich and creamy. I'm so happy with this sauce, Buco. Spoon over this amazing reduced sauce. And for the finishing touch, that beautiful fresh gremolata. So what's for dinner? This delicious slow cooked Osso Buco. Now, if you like that, all ingredients can be purchased at your local Woolies and online by clicking here. To subscribe to our YouTube channel, click here. To explore all our other fresh idea recipes, click here. And for more beef recipes, click here.